You know, some people may think I'm overstating this, but to me, Darquez Denard was the closest pure cover corner I had seen since maybe Deion Sanders. And I know that's high praise, but Denard was a guy who opposing teams simply never wanted to throw at. Intercepted, a falling down pick for guess who? Darquez <laughs> Denard. If the no-fly zone was one of the chapters of the best defensive era for Michigan State football, then Darquez Denard is one of the key authors of that chapter. The no-fly zone is in effect. That fame no-fly zone started with him. That 2013 defense is arguably probably top two or three defense uh, in the Big Ten in this past decade, and he was the best player on it. 30 straight possessions. Michigan State's gone without giving up a touchdown. Throw is intercepted. They won't give up one there either. Darquez Denard. I mean, this was a player who changed the way offenses approach the game because you saw the shift. Like, you could watch the same team play somebody else the week before, and then everything would shift against Michigan State. Guess who? No fly zone. Here at senior corner, Darquez Denard, who just said, how many pass yards did I have? Not that many, not that many. If there was ever a player who epitomized what made Michigan State successful under Mark D'Antonio, to me, it was Darquez Denard. <laughs> what is that, the Spartan dog? That's them all the way. I That's mean, them. I, I, I know them. you one of the original Spartan dogs. <laughs> what do we got going now with these youngsters? Uh, they heard about what a Spartan dog is through me and from me, and now they add their own little things to it. Defensive backs coach Harlan Barnett, I remember coined the phrase that Darquez Denard was the complete corner and not just the cover corner. Darquez Denard is a boundary corner. He is involved a lot in being able to stop the run game. So Darquez Denard could not only cover guys, but he had that physical presence on the edge as well. And the Spartans weren't fooled, and that was Denard making another stop. And he can make plays in space. He could tackle you hard in space. That's the trifecta that you don't normally see with a corner that Darquez Denard had. That is a great play by Denard, the Jim Thorpe Award winner, the top defensive back in the country. In my opinion, he was so good that without him, there wouldn't have been a Big Ten championship for Michigan State in 2013. And then there wouldn't have been the Rose Bowl win as well. That's how important I felt like Darquez Denard was to Michigan State during that era. But here is a two-star recruit from Twiggs County High School in Georgia. Now, when your high school serves an entire county, I think it's safe to say it is not a particularly large place. Darquez Denard is from Dry Branch, Georgia, which he described as a one traffic light town. A one light town? He's gonna be in towns with bright lights from here on out. And yet, Denard, someone who Michigan State found, right, like kind of a diamond in the rough, and this kid comes to East Lansing and emerges as a really good player. Bullock, who gets nailed. Darquez Denard, making sure he remembers this one. But that was such an important piece of what Michigan State football was and how they were able to go from good to great to elite. And he was the epitome of all of that because it all started in that secondary. What did you prove tonight? We proved we, we, we the top defense in the nation. I think he's one of the three best players or most important players of the Mark Antonio era.